And we do understand there are new developments on the Cecilia Dapa case. Uh, let's cross over to our legal correspondent, Joseph Akable. Joseph, thank you so much for your time. Can you give us updates on this new development? So the latest is that uh, Madame Dapa has, through her lawyers, filed a some process at the High Court uh, challenging the conduct of the Office of Special Prosecutor in relation uh, to her. And so she makes the point first and foremost that as far as she's concerned, she believes that the OSP's decision to re-seize her money and also proceed to freeze her account once again were unlawful. And the context to this, like you recall, uh, sometime, some weeks back, the High Court did give an order for the Office of Special Prosecutor to release $590,000 as well as 2.8 million cities that they had seized during a set of her residence. Now, you recall that when she went over to the Office of Special Prosecutor, the money was given to her. When she got to the car park, she was asked to come back uh, to the office at the, which point the money was seized again. And the interesting thing is that we know that the case is coming up in court tomorrow. This is a fresh action entirely in which she's saying that that conduct of the OSP is arbitrary, is unlawful, and is contrary to the power that is granted the Office of Special Prosecutor. So as a result of that, she's asking the court to order the Office of Special Prosecutor to re release the money that was seized and also to unfreeze her bank account. She's also interestingly asking for an order prohibiting the Special Prosecutor from continuing the investigations of herself. And so she doesn't want to be investigated by Special Prosecutor anymore and asking for any other order that the court may deem fit. And the interesting thing about all of this is it's coming at a time when the OSP, just uh, what the news we give our viewers already is the fact that he has decided to file charges against her in relation to a failure to complete an income declaration form. And so this is the latest on the DAPA matter is that she has filed court processes asking for an injunction to stop the Office of Special Prosecutor from investigating her entirely as well as release of her seized funds and unfreeze her accounts. Joseph, thank you so much for your time. And Joseph Akable is our legal correspondent.